That's disgusting. <laughs> it's like water. Today we're comparing the cheapest hot chocolate in the supermarket versus the most expensive hot chocolate. And then we're throwing in the healthiest hot chocolate to see which one is best out of all three. I'm gonna make these hot chocolates exactly how they tell me I should make them to make sure I'm giving it a fair, even playing ground. Up first is the cheapest hot chocolate. The ingredients in this are whey powder, sugar, fat reduced cocoa powder, glucose syrup, coconut oil, skim cow's milk powder, flavoring, thickening, xanthan gum, salt, stabilizer. Up next is the green and black organic hot chocolate. This is a rich, indulgent and creamy hot chocolate drink. And they've actually got an intensity scale here. Their intensity scale goes up to 11 and this is level five intensity. So I think this is gonna be a good hot chocolate. I genuinely cannot believe I spent six pounds on this. Like, look at the size difference between these two. This is 400 grams and this is 250. There is icing sugar, fat reduced cocoa powder, acidity regulator, potassium carbonates, cocoa mass cane sugar, cocoa powder, vanilla extracts, emulsifier. There's quite a few ingredients in this. When I saw this in the supermarket, I really wanted to try it because I'm a big fan of this brand. Cacao blended with maca for an indulgent and relaxing hot chocolate supports an active mind, immunity and energy, and it's high in fiber. So believe it or not, this is 250 grams and this is 300 grams. This really makes it seem like there's way more. Like I would have thought that there's more in here than in here, but there's not. The ingredients in this are organic sugar, organic cacao powder, organic maca powder, natural flavoring, cocoa solids, and that's it. And just out of curiosity, because I've been trying to reduce my refined sugar intake, let's just see how much sugar is in each serving. There is 19.8 grams of sugar in this serving and 0.9 grams of fiber. Ooh, there's more sugar in this one. 23 grams of sugar per serving, but two grams of fiber. In this one, there is 14 grams of sugar per serving and 2.9 grams of fiber. Already, this is actually a better option because I'm also trying to get in more fiber intake in my day and we all need to be eating more fiber but genuinely not enough of us eat enough fiber. It's actually ridiculous. So because both of these require hot milk, I'm actually going to put it on the stove, but I'm just gonna like put both milks in one to heat it and then we'll separate it afterwards. This one wants 250 mils and this one wants 200 mils. So that's 450 mils of milk. I actually do not remember the last time <laughs> I heated my milk up on the stove. I normally put it in the microwave, but I thought, you know what? I know that like optimal, optimal? Optimal milk heating is done on the stove, right? And I was also worried that if I put it in the microwave, the milk would end up smelling like the food that I microwaved last night. Do you know when that happens? <laughs> Have you ever microwaved the tea and like, it tastes like the curry that you had last night? That's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. I guess I'll bring it to a boil and then when it starts bubbling, I'll simmer it? Or should I simmer it now? I don't really know. <laughs> oh, look, I can hear it. I love these microphones. So glad that I made the investment. I feel like a proper content creator again. <laughs> All right, let's get our mugs out. Um, what mug should I go with? I'm gonna give my Nan some to taste test, so I will put a little bit in these ones for her. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I was wondering, why isn't my, my milk bubbling? But it's... It's stuck to the bottom of the pan. Oh no. Oh my God, was I supposed to be stirring it constantly? Oh my God, that's disgusting now. I've basically made cheese. I need to figure out what to do. You know what, I just mixed it and uh, I don't see any more of those little curdled bits now. You know what, I can't even lie. I feel extremely under pressure right now. I feel like I've got to do everything really quickly now. Um, I think the milk's hot enough. <laughs> I am now going to portion out the hot chocolate. Let me tuck my hair behind my ear. That's how you know it's getting serious. I'm actually gonna get teaspoon measures, actual ones. Cause like I said, I'm doing it very seriously. Four teaspoons of hot chocolate granules into a mug. It's like hot chocolate. Oh, that smells really rich. Four teaspoons of this. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. <laughs> this seems to be his own brand hot chocolate. Five teaspoons. Oh my God, that smells like, that does not smell good. I can't even lie to you. I just done one, okay. Two, three, four, five. Guys, I always make such a mess. Every Everything I do, I make a mess. Four heaped teaspoons. What do you mean heaped? And it says 25 grams. I am gonna be extra. I'm gonna weigh it with my 
Stitch whales, my stitch scales. It wants 25 grams. I give you 25 grams, babe. I'll be very specific about it. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, 23 grams, 25, perfect. Okay, I know it's a bit ridiculous. One of them required 250 mils, whilst the other one required 200. Did I lose any in the cooking process? Oh, I did. Oh my God. Oh, somehow it's used 50 mil. We'll do that to 200. Oh my God, why am I nervous? Oh my God, is that hot anymore? Not really. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, this is actually a shambles. I did not realize that this was gonna be so difficult. Okay, I'm gonna mix this in straight away because, do you know what I mean? You know what? I shouldn't have poured it into the um, the measuring jug because obviously the measuring jug was cold. Uh, I really fucked it up. Is it too late to put it in a microwave? Or do I put it back in the saucepan? Oh my God, all of this to taste some fucking hot chocolates. This is ridiculous. I've got it on the pan again. This is ridiculous. Guys, I can't believe the kerfuffle I just created for myself. Let's actually try them right now because my battery's running low. Oh, it just really does taste like chocolate. It's quite rich, but it's not too rich. It's definitely indulgent. That was hard to swallow, I can't even lie. That don't taste right. That don't taste right. It's quite sweet as well. It weirdly tastes like food. Does that make sense? Nah, nah, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all, I don't like that at all. I don't know how you can make this taste nicer. Maybe if you actually did use hot milk instead of hot water, maybe it would taste better. It smells weird. That actually smells weird, I can't lie. Oh my God, it actually tastes healthy. Apologies, my camera just died. Let's pick up where we were. The first taste is nice, but it's the aftertaste that is like, what is that sitting on my palate? What ingredient can I taste right now? Is that actually the flavor of maca powder? It actually, ha it actually smells like what it tastes like. I don't like that, but I do think that if you're trying to consume slightly healthier things, not that there's a big disparity in sugar contents, but if you are trying to have more organic or, you know, superfoods, maca powders, <laughs> cacao powders, then yeah. But you know what, we need to get a second opinion. So I'm gonna get my nan to come and try and see what she thinks. I'm not gonna tell her which is which, and then she can tell me what she thinks is which. So I'm not gonna tell you what, take what flavor is which, but we've got, an expensive one, a cheap one, and a healthy one, all right? Mm -hmm. Give that a taste. It's not gonna be super hot right now, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What one do you think that is? It sounds like the expensive one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. <laughs> really, really let it go on your palate, you know? That's nice as well. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like that at all, it's horrible. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> it's like water. I can't pick a favorite over these two. They're both very, very similar. Mm. Please let me know what your favorite hot chocolates are down below in the comments, I would love to know. And I would love to know if you've got any other video ideas that you would like to see me do, what things you would like to see me test and compare. I will do it, babe. I'll spend my money for you. Tell you whether or not I think it's worth it. All right? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful life. And I'll see you back here very, very soon. Much love. Peace. Just to show you the absolute realities of life, this is this is the mess that I have created, okay? <laughs> In my scatty behavior, trying to get it all done at the same time while keeping everything hot. <laughs>